In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recreate this beautiful stacking cards effect just by using Elementor Pro and its native settings. You can apply this in any page of your Elementor website. And of course, this effect is gonna work perfectly also on mobile. And once you learn the technique that I'm going to show you here in this tutorial, you can apply the same effect to images or to any other kind of widget or containers in Elementor. And it's gonna be very easy and fun to recreate this together. If you want to skip this tutorial and just download this layout and install it into your Elementor website, I provided to you a link down below in the description box that you can use to download for free the same layout I'm using in the video. But if you want to learn how to recreate this together, let's dive in. Hi there, my name is Pascal and I'm the creator of WP Roads, the YouTube channel and the website where I share with you my passion and knowledge about WordPress. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and the thumbs up. To recreate this effect, we will start by adding a new section to the page where you want to apply this effect. In my case, I will start by adding a new Flexbox container to a new page. It's gonna be a vertical direction, okay? And then I'm going to open up here the structure and I'm going to rename it and call it stacking cards. Then I'm going inside here and I'm going to add a second container. Okay, so let's do it like this. And here I will call it stacking wrapper. Inside this wrapper, I will start by adding a heading. Okay, I will call this as I wish. In my case, I will just call it beautiful stocking cards and I will align it to the center. Okay, and then I will go on and add as many containers as I want. These containers will be my actual stacking cards. In my example, I will add four of them, but you can add as many as you want, of course. I will go here and call this card number one, and then I will go and duplicate this call the card number two and so on. So in my case, I will just add four. Duplicate card number three, voila. And then card number four. Be sure to like the video if you're enjoying the tutorial. So we have four cards. Let's style them. If you want, you can add border radius or whatever you want. I will do a very pretty simple styling in my case. So I'll edit my first container. I will go to style. I will add a basic background. Perfect. When I'm happy with the styling, I can go and copy and paste it. Paste style, paste style, and paste style. Okay, so I have my four cards. Now I can also add a padding here to my card. So I will select my first container. To the advanced tab, I go and select RAM, and I place two RAM, and I start adding some content. Oh yes, before doing so, I just copy and paste also the spacing to the other cards. Paste style, and go and paste style. Okay, and before proceeding, I also want to go to the main container here, the stacking cards one, not the wrapper. And uh, I want to make sure that the content here is boxed. And um, in my case, I will just go about 750 pixels so that I see that my cards will uh, just stay in the center of the screen. Okay, let's go and add a few content here, a few elements. The first one is gonna be a heading. Let's choose H3, okay, card number one. Let's duplicate this and let's add it also here. Card number two. Okay, and then we go here, paste. No, sorry. I just need to copy and paste this. <laughs> paste here, okay. Card number three, and then I'll go and paste here, the last one. My card number four. Okay, so I have my content. Let's go and add a text editor, for example, for to just to have a few elements more and then if you want you can add a button okay let's play like this now in this part is very important you can choose if you if you're going to have some cards with more content and other cards with less content you can have a fixed height to make them look uh, all the same height so to do so we can go and fix this by selecting the container of the first card and say that we want this card to be a minimum height of 350 pixels, for example. Okay, this looks good. And I'm going here and um, I'm selecting now my text here. Let's say that you have different um, uh, sections with different content uh, lengths. You can go and select, uh, for example, in my case, the text and choose to make this content here grow. So that is going to push down all the rest of the content. In this case, it's gonna be a little bit more organized. I can also place this button here to the right I'm just giving you here some ideas that you can maybe apply to your own designs if you want. And then I will go and add the same content and the same settings to the other to the other cards. So I'll go and paste here, copy here, paste. 
copy and paste, paste, okay, do the same with the text here, copy and paste, and copy and paste, okay. So I'm creating the structure of my cards. If you want, you can also apply the same height to the others. So in my case, 350, so that I know that they will all have the same height at, at least 350, okay. And that's gonna be the case also for the last one, perfect. Uh, just to be more, yes, I can also add a few more elements. If I want, I can add an image or whatever I want. I'm, I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to put it right here just to be able to have a more coherent design. Duplicate, okay. And I will place this here, perfect. Last one here. I'm just going to duplicate this and I'm going to put it here. Okay, so the design looks good. It is a basic design, of course, but uh, it is already what we are going to do, okay? And um, let's now go and apply the first settings that's gonna be crucial for our effect. So you see, in order to be able to obtain this effect here, we're going to choose a different Z index for all the cards. The first one is gonna be one, the second one is gonna be two, and so on. Let's go and see how to do so. We select the first container, we go to the advanced tab, we go to the Z index and we select number one. We go on here, we select number two to the advanced tab, Z index number two to the advanced tab and we go on like this. Z index number three and the card number four, Z index number four. There we are, okay. And now we're going to start by applying the motion effects. We're going to start by the title here. We're going to select the title widget. We're going to the advanced tab and we're going to the motion effects and we're going to make this sticky to the top. Okay, as you can see here now, it's going to stick to the top, perfect. It is exactly what we want to do. And uh, we're going to also to make it stick to the top with all the other elements. The first card, so we go to the advanced tab and we make motion effects stick to the top and then we're going to make the sticky offset about, uh, let's say, 100 pixels. Okay, as you can see, the first card already stays there, you see? The beginning of our effect is going to work fine like this. We can also stack a little bit more the beautiful stacking cards here. We can also separate this from the top a little bit more. So we go to the motion effects here, and we add also a sticky offset here to this element here. Let's say 30 pixel is working fine, okay. Perfect. Now we go on by selecting the second card. We go to the motion effects here and we select, uh, stick it to the top, okay. And we're going to add 120 pixels in this case. So you can see that when we go and scroll, we'll see that the elements will stack like this and is already the beginning now of our effect, beautiful. We do the same here to the number three. We're going to the advanced tab, motion effects, 140 pixels. Stick it to the top, 140, okay. And then we go to the last card and we're going to just go and select. Stick it to the top, 160, yes, perfect. Looks gorgeous, perfect. Okay, so now the, basic, uh, the basics of the effects are there. We can publish and go and have a quick preview of our page. And when we scroll here, we see that our section works perfectly. But um, in order for the effect to work fine and to give the best of the look and feel of this effect, we need to have a section below with other content, of course, so that the scrolling effect can take place until the end. To do so, we add the second section that we will have in the same page. Maybe you also already have another section in your page. In my case, I just make an, another section, a new one, and I'm going to add a background color in order to make you show, to show you how this is gonna work uh, visually, of course. So I'm going to apply this color here, perfect. And there is a little bit of a problem here. You see that the cards are stuck in below the content of the second section. We're going to resolve it very soon. But before doing so, just make, let's make sure that the second section is gonna be, is gonna have enough height. So in this case, we're gonna just put this with some dummy content to show you how it's going to work. Okay, I'm going to add some padding. I have my classes here. I'm going to add some content. Let's add, for example, a video. Let's add an image and so on. Okay, a video, is, it, is, it is good enough, okay. 
So now in my page, I see my stacking cards, perfect, they're working fine. And you see that I have my second section below. But there is a problem here because the elements, uh, of course, they are stacking. You can choose two solutions. The first one is the easiest and you can just go and um, uh, apply to each and every element here where you have applied the motion effect. The fact is that they have to stay in column. You go here to the motion effect, you click on stay in column here and you enable this. You should do the same also for all the other cards. And you're going to see that when you scroll down, all the elements will just disappear. Let me show you the example here. For example, in my case, I have applied this stay in column effect to the beautiful stacking cards title. And in fact, here, when I scroll down, you will see that the title will stay there. You see the title is staying at his place here in his column in his section while the cards are just going below. If you want, you can apply so the same effect to the cards, but the problem is that you will lose this beautiful effect here of the stacking, of the stacking solution. Let me show you how this works. You see here, you go, you will apply the motion effect, you stay in column and so on, and you apply the same also to all the other cards if you want. But as I was mentioning to you, they will disappear and you see here, the stacking effect will just disappear. So it is kind of a pity to, to have this. And to avoid this, you can go here, disable the staying column. Okay, motion effect, disable the staying column. And we're just going to add a beautiful new effect, which is going to use the scrolling effects. So we go and now it is where the stacking wrapper comes in uh, handy. We select the stacking wrapper when we have inserted in our title and our cards. And then we're going to apply here to the advanced tab to the motion effects, a new scrolling effect. In this case, we can use whatever you want, but it's gonna work perfectly if you use transparency. We'll choose transparency, we choose fade out, and we make sure here to move the viewport here to 70 and 100%, or even 80, 100%, it's gonna work fine. And then here, make sure to, sure to choose viewport. Okay, let's have a quick preview now. We'll see that when we are down here, you see the section is going to disappear behind the new one. Beautiful. This looks very, very good. Gorgeous. So our cards are working fine. The effect is working very well, you see. Wow, beautiful. And then we have our new section, which is going to appear down. Wow. <laughs> I really, really love this effect here. I hope that you were able to recreate the same effect that we saw in the tutorial. And I also wanted to remind you that you can download the same layout that I'm using in the video just by using the link that I provided you down below. It is free and it's gonna save you time. I will leave you here with two of my other tutorials and videos about Elementor and WordPress. Make sure to check them out and I hope to see you in my next videos. Ciao ciao by Pascal and wish you all the best with your WordPress projects.